Hey guys, Ariel over here at Fine Earthwear today. I wanted to just do a quick video in response to something I recently became aware of that was going on. First, as you can see, Burley is happily napping here by the fire. Um, lots of people wish that I can stay warm. That is not a problem in here at all. It's been zero or a little below most nights. Um, snowed a little bit this morning, it warmed up a little bit to snow. It doesn't usually snow when it's zero and so on. And this little stove is actually almost too hot to uh, <laughs> sit beside comfortably. Um, and it does a fine job of keeping this house plenty cozy. We were outside and played for a while and uh, did worked on some firewood and, and projects like that. So now Burley is ready for a nap. Um, anyway, so what I became aware of recently is of another family who has a little homestead as well. They're a little different setup than mine. They live in Pennsylvania, which is actually where they live in Pennsylvania is actually pretty close to where I grew up. But what they've got going on, and I'll link to their their channel down below. You can go check them out and get all the latest info, but they um, have a little uh, kind of farmette with their homestead with their uh, kids and on a place where I believe her father had built the, the house originally. So anyway, their family's been there for quite a long time. Um, I guess it's third generation. Uh-uh, that's not a toy. That's barely a toy. Good boy. Um, third generation now living on the same property and they recently had a um, notice show up in the mail saying that they were in violation of the local codes and zoning. Um, they have chickens and some goats and a garden and that kind of thing and they're surrounded by commercial agriculture and so anyway I'm not going to go into a whole ton of details on their situation because you can go look that up and learn it from them but what it um, made me aware of and what I wanted to do a video about is that this is a problem guys um, and hopefully they're able to work that out and and stay there and continue to produce healthy food for their family and all of that but all across the country, um, and I looked at a lot of the country and a lot of rules in a lot of places when I was looking for a place to buy land for myself, which is partly what made me so aware of this. Um, hi, baby boy. Um, it's really um, illegal to do most things that involve taking good care of your own health the soil or ground that you live on um, to um, properly take care of human waste, um, to raise healthy animals, and to raise um, healthy food. There's a whole combination, you know, the rules differ all over the place from every one town to another and one county to another and one municipality to another and state to state. Anyway, it's quite a mishmash of rules, so it's hard to figure out. But what it comes down to is a lot of places it's illegal to have chickens in your yard. It is illegal to have vegetables in your yard. You may only have grass and so on and so forth. Um, and this really concerns me guys because whether or not you want to have a big garden or have a chicken or milk a goat or any of those things, this should concern you because you are a human being and you need food. And this food has to come from somewhere. And as people are becoming more and more aware, our um, modern system of agriculture is pretty broken in um, the fact that it is, it's not providing healthy food to people. It's destroying the ground that where um, it's being farmed. It's terrible for the animals. And so there's all kinds of issues there. And what really bothers me is that this, um, you know, whether you want to grow your own or not, you should care about with the ability for healthy food to be produced and the ground and water and air to be taken care of. And so that's that's really concerning. And it's it, I don't see any value at all. These laws are just, you know, made up rules by a group of people somewhere. Um, there's no real value to a rule that says something. You may only have weed-free grass in your yard around your house. No growing vegetables, no growing food. There can't be dandelions in it. Guys, that's just dumb. I mean... If you've been following me for any length of time, people always comment on how gorgeous my place is in the summer. Half of the things growing around my house are edible herbs and leaves. The Most of the flowers are edible as well. I think my yard looks pretty tidy most of the time. It is entirely wild. It's got clo red clover, white clover, some yellow clover, um, dandelions, all kinds of things in it that I get mullein. Um, 
so on, just to gobs of stuff that I can eat. It still looks tidy. You mow it and it looks tidy. And I mean, I've got videos of making cookies out of the flowers growing wild in my yard. It's silly to, um, to say the only thing you can grow is non-productive, useless, and toxic grass. Because to keep a nice lawn, as you probably know, you probably have to poison all of the weeds and then add chemical fertilizers back for the grass to grow and be green and then you have to mow it. Anyway, it's a ridiculous cycle. Um, and especially when you're in the... I, I understand that sometimes it might not be appropriate to have chickens on your balcony in New York City or something, but when you're in the middle of commercial agriculture, uh, anyway, it's stupid to have a rule that says you can put half a million chickens in a chicken house in horrific conditions. I have acquaintances and family members who run chicken houses. That Guys, I've been in them. They're, they really are awful. You do not want to be inside of them if you are a chicken. Um... So to say that that's legal, that is fine. We can have agriculture like that, but you can't have a dozen chickens in your yard. That's illegal. You need more than an acre of ground here that's all completely fenced for them. Those kinds of rules are stupid. Now, I'm no big believer in that government and its rules are going to save anybody. In fact, I highly encourage you all to take responsibility for your own life and your own choices. But What's concerning to me is that so much of the country has these kinds of rules that really do prevent people who are wanting to or care about producing healthy food and taking good care of themselves and their families and producing good food for others. It's, um, even if it's not, some things are illegal here, some things are illegal there, and even when something's not illegal, you're often persecuted by um, and harassed by the local code enforcement and such. And, and this is a ridiculous state of affairs, folks, because um, whether you want to do it yourself or not, like I said, you should care about whether or not people can produce good food that is going to be able to keep you healthy and so on. And one of the things that it did make me think is that a lot of these positions like... Um, code enforcement or um, zoning officer and those kinds of things, they're very often uncontested elections in most places. Nobody really cares that much. It's not like being governor or president or whatever. Um, and most of these rules seem to get slip in, slipped in unawares and all of a sudden somebody's like, hey, I've had chickens in my yard for the last 70 years and now you're telling me I can't have chickens in my yard here. Um, maybe an idea for some of you guys if you either want to be able to do this in the area where you already live and your life already exists or where you want to live or if you want good food to be able to be produced where you live even if you don't want to do it yourself maybe consider running for some of those positions and if we can get in ridiculous laws like no vegetables allowed outside a house only flowers or a toxic lawn um why can't we get somebody else in there just i mean they're just rules made up by people anyway get people who have a better understanding of how this affects all of us in there and let's just make rules that say absolutely you can grow vegetables and that's fine and so on. So I just want to um, help bring this to you guys attention because it's just something that is going on all over the place and it really saddens me because I'm, I'm very passionate about people being healthy and being able to um, have a good life and that's uh, highly affected by food and how you and your food quality, whether you're a vegetarian or a meat eater or both, um, the, those, the health of the plants and animals is very much affected by the dirt quality and all of those things are not being well cared for by most of us these days and then when people realize that and they want to change then they're told oh it's illegal to do anything better and that to me is just really sad so I you know does that rule in that county in Pennsylvania affect me probably not because I don't um, ever intend to live there again um, even though it's very near where I grew up I I'm not wanting to garden there or have chickens there or milk a goat there any of that so why does it matter to me I'm like 2,000 something miles away it matters to me, and it should matter to you, like I said, because we are human beings and we need air and food and water. And these things affect all of those. And whether or not we can save a polar bear or an elephant and their habitat, I'm not sure. That's probably out of my realm. But I know for sure, guys, that we can quit poisoning our air and food and water and dirt right outside our door and what we put in ourselves. That we can choose to do, and that we can change. And those those changes do add up all over um, all over the globe. So, like I said, if you want more info on their situation, that's what brought it up to my 
my attention and made me want to do a video about it right now, but you can you can find their info down below and I wish them the absolute best of luck with getting that all sorted out and being able to go back to their um, life. But whatever happens with that, I just want to help bring this to everyone's attention that this is something you ought to be concerned about and uh, become part of a, a group that helps make more sensible rules, gets rid of some of these ridiculous rules, and helps to take better care of, of this space around us and ourselves and each other. So I just wanted to, um, yeah, just kind of share some of my rambling thoughts about that because that kind of thing is is really, really frustrating to me. And like I said, I became more aware of it when I was looking for a place to buy ground because a place where I could actually grow vegetables, have a few small animals, uh, build my own house, and take proper care of water and human waste, that is illegal in all but a tiny handful of counties in this entire country. And I imagine most of the people who founded America would probably roll over in their graves if they realized um, some of what's going on now. But anyway, aside from the politics, I don't, I don't really care about that. I'm not sure politics is a good way to, to fix most things. It's just really sad to me that there are people out there making life so difficult to, to um, be healthy and be careful. And let's, let's just change the rules. They're just, they're just rules that people made up. And I'm sure they had their reasons and intentions when they made them. But now that we realize they're stupid rules, let's just change them and get rid of them. So anyway, hopefully um, you guys are excited about doing whatever you can do where you are, whether or not you can have a gigantic garden or a few pots on your deck or just some sprouts in the window. Got mine growing over there. They grow like mad all winter. I had a bunch for lunch. Um, you know, whether wherever you are on that spectrum, do what you can wherever you are, but let's also make sure that there are places where these things can be done as well. That's just my, my hope and my thoughts and my concerns and my wishes for all of you guys. And hopefully, you know, if all of us are aware of this, um, maybe some people can get involved in actually changing the rules. Um, we can, we can kind of fix this ridiculous problem that we have going on in a lot of areas. Because anywhere, especially in a rural area, or anywhere you actually have dirt, it should not be illegal to grow food in it. Anywhere you have 5, 10, 15 acres, it should not be illegal to have chickens on it. Um, it's all kinds, I mean, you guys can look up this stuff, all kinds of benefits to, you know, chickens eat bad bugs, which then don't get out of control, you know, and they, their manure fertilizes the ground. There's and this does not happen when you have a half million of them stuffed in a concrete bunker. Um, but when you have some chickens out running around doing their natural chicken thing, it is, um, it is such a huge benefit to the environment and taking care of this stuff around us and ultimately taking care of ourselves as well. So anyway, that's kind of rambling, but this stuff... Uh, gets me worked up. So hopefully I got a few of you worked up too and we can change this. Thanks for watching folks. If you're interested in more info on my off-grid tiny house life, check out some of my other videos here. And if you like what you're seeing, click the little picture of my house to subscribe and then hit the little bell so YouTube actually notifies you every time there's a new video available. See y'all next time.